I got a fish right here. Let me finish this up in a second after I hook this dude. Oh yeah, little little guy. Um, this tow trip's gonna be a little different. We're just gonna be having fun this time. I'm not too worried about you know any over the top lessons or anything. Mostly because fish are switched into the summer patterns now, which means they're kind of everywhere. Uh, spawn, the spawn's over. The fish have moved into something of a deeper water pattern midday. It's early morning, they're up on the bank. You know, I can get them on spinner baits and a lot of other baits, but when I know where a fish is at, putting that lizard in its face is uh, almost can't be beat. So I'm working this grass edge right now to get started, mostly because I want to catch one on the top water, but I was going to start with the lizard, you know, just to be able to talk through it. And, and of course, I barely got it in the water and that one ate it. Stuff that happened on this thing. I fell down a hill yesterday and caught a nine pounder, which uh, I'll cut to that now with me in the water pulling that fish out, which is kind of fun. Uh, caught that on the top toad, um, which I'm actually about to switch to and work my way down to this point because, I mean, let's be real, look around. This just screams top water right now. Going for one more top water cast. See if I can't get this thing real time to explode on the lure. And uh, after that, we'll just start shooting the video. Hope you guys are enjoying the new format. Uh, I'm gonna throw in some tips and techniques where I can. And uh, anyway, comment below. Let me know what you think about this format. Let me know if you like the conversational style. Let me know if you like this new camera angle where it's shooting over the top and you can see what I'm doing. That actually was based on a suggestion from a a subscriber so anyway comment below and uh give the video a big thumbs up if you like a lizard fish before daylight and we're gonna keep fishing and hopefully make this a uh a sick video Hold behind you so just stay right there i'm gonna go past you if i hook this sucker i'll pull it past you well guys i'm letting the camera roll because i'm gonna show you a little bit of the, the behind the scenes of how we make some of our videos I've already introduced him once, but in case it don't make the cut, that's Kelsey Thompson right there from the Great North in Canada. He is our artistic, slow-mo, dreamy shot guy. And he's got his face buried in his cardboard contraption. But anyway, Kelsey, say hi to everyone. I was told a long time ago by a man much older and much wiser than me, if you can figure out a way to get paid to do what you think about doing when you're pretty much doing anything else that you'll never work another day in your life. And, you know, I can't say that we don't work because there's definitely a lot of work that goes into doing this, but it really doesn't feel like work when it's your passion and when you get to share your experiences with other folks. And so, I, oh, there's one. Oh, ooh. That was a uh, that was a bullet coming at me. Almost took one to the cheekbone right there. That's why you always wear these sunglasses glasses that I don't have on right now. Get back in there and see if I can get that fish real quick for you guys. He, uh, I was re reeling the w lizard on the top trying to get it to the pocket that I wanted to drop it in and he just exploded on it. And I was a victim of what I call premature jerculation right there. I jerked it too quick. And uh, yeah, it didn't work out too well. So, dude. Oh. But there's a stump over here just screaming, cast to me. It's like talking to me. Cast to me. Cast to me. So, I mean, here, let me swing around. I mean, doesn't that stump just scream fish? But there ought to be a fish there. One of the things I like to look for in summertime is what I call converging cover. And so right out here, I've got a cypress tree. And I know this because I've been here before. I haven't grafted or anything. There's a bunch of knees on this, um, the right side. So the, uh, the east side, basically, of the, if you can see that side of the tree starting to get lit, um, of the tree. And then there's another tree that lays down and they converge. And so anytime you've got converging cover, 
that creates little funnels for bait fish. That's a great place to cast. And I've already got one picking it up right here. Um, there he is. And so keep in mind when you're fishing that fish are, you know, you're not the predator. They are. You're basically a, you're a, you're trying to be the sheep that gets eaten. And so you want to put it in that spot, on the spot. And a lot of folks just go out and randomly cast all day at stuff that looks fishy. But there's more to something being fishy than it just looking fishy. You need to think about what's going on below the surface. It's a nice little chunk right there to, to start the day. Look how he uh, inhaled that lizard. Let me show you a trick. The way you want to get this out is run your finger down under the line, put your index finger on the hook, and push with your thumb. And basically, you pop it out like that. It works every time. It's good for the fish. Get this fish back in the water. We'll let that fall down by the tree trunk and there ought to be a fish there. Fish, Kelsey. Yeah. Come on, bro. You ready? Oh, little guy. Little guy. Little guy. All right, so. All right, you ready? You ready? Ah, oh, dude, he's running with it. So obviously these lakes like this have a lot of cover in them, so you can run yourself ragged trying to figure out where to throw. But these brush, oh look at that fish. And sometimes they just tell you where they are, like that one just did right there. So I'm going to drop that in his, in his wheelhouse and see if he'll, see if he'll comply with gobbling. But like I was trying to say before, a lot of times these treetops, these brush piles that they're that are placed here, are just unbelievable fish magnets. And uh, so I really like to take my time and slow down and give them a pretty good once over. It looks like that fish blew up on that mat. So I'm gonna try to skip this bait in there. 
where I can get it on the other side of that mat and kind of yo-yo it in there. Just like that. Drop it in there and there's the fish. Just like that. Oh yeah. If you noticed, one foot in the wrong direction, no fish. Oh. Uh oh. It's not a big one. Oh. Bow and a rod are pretty good though. Nobody told him he wasn't big. Nobody told him he wasn't big. Ooh gobbled that scorcher from strike king gobbled it got him with the regular hook and the trailer hook here we go ready ready yeah. oh yeah dude Oh man, this is a freaking stud, dude. Holy crap. Oh yeah. Whoo. He ain't done. Oh. Holy crap. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Booyah. <laughs> what I want to do is go back here, get into this aerated water, and just uh, get one to eat it because they like it in that churned water. Um, there's some wood down through here. There's a fence coming up, and that generally means bass. So here we go. Oh, there's one on the buzz bait. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys got that blow up. Because he's flat. Slurped it. Slurped it. Nice. Uh -huh. Bait, like I said, fishing this aerated water. They seem to be a lot more active right behind it. So I'm going to get out here in this wood. Let's back away from it and see if I can't get a couple on the buzz bait. And then I'm going to ease up to that aerated water and bust one with the Spro Rat. But I need to wait on Mr. Kelsey to get back with the high speed camera so we can bring you guys that in super slow mo for some super slow mo bass action.
Like I said, if I was just fishing, I'd be fishing in that aerated water right now, either with the plastic lizard or with the BBZ-1 rat, or even with this buzz bait, but Kelsey forgot his batteries, has to run back to the hotel, and so I don't want to jump in there and blow the shot and not be able to bring it to you guys, so I'm out here just kind of exploring around with the, oh, there's another one. Kind of just exploring around with the buzz bait. Oh, nice. Fishing some places that I, that I haven't fished before this time of day. And uh, yeah, getting some cool water kicking, you know, buzz bait action and uh, stuff like that right there. So that one I didn't get on the trailer hook, but like I said on that last one, it was the trailer hook that did it. Gotta be kidding me. Here we go, fish. 